What is going on everyone? Who wants to learn about the Big Easy? New Orleans. New Orleans is one of the most popular destinations for both foreign and domestic tourists. It's hard to beat the food, music, history, and people of the Big Easy. This city always seems to be alive during good times and bad. And this really speaks to the resilience of its residents. It's had some bad times. New Orleans is located along the Mississippi River in the southeastern section of the United States in the great state of Louisiana. The history of this city is extremely interesting and goes back to the earliest days of this country and before. That history includes the Battle of 1812 when General Andrew Jackson pulled together a force of militia from Louisiana, Tennessee, and Mississippi, including free men of color, as they were known at the time, U.S. Army regulars, Kentucky riflemen, Choctaw fighters, and local privateers led by the pirate Jean Lafitte and they defeated the British at the Battle of New Orleans. This ragtag bunch of people came together and beat the most powerful army in the world at the time. And that's right, the U.S. used a pirate in a fight. Like I said, very, very interesting history. New Orleans is a great city, but it's not for everyone. Before you move to the Big Easy, you should probably watch my top 10 reasons not to move to New Orleans. Number 10, the roads. The roads here are absolutely horrible. I've been to New Orleans a few times in my life, and most recently in 2015. I did Mardi Gras for about three hours and decided it was a lot more fun in my 20s and 30s. While I was there, I became reacquainted with how poorly the streets of New Orleans are. More specifically, the potholes and the lack of attention they receive from the city. The city won't pay to fix the pothole problems. It's gotten to be such an issue that local residents and artists have taken it upon themselves to fix the streets with their own little twist. This could get a little dangerous at times, and make sure you put a little money aside specifically for new tires and alignment till you get used to the streets around wherever you're living if you move to New Orleans. Number nine, scams and street urchins. With New Orleans being a tourist destination, it also means it's a criminal destination. Any kind of scam you could think of, it's happening in New Orleans. And this really gets going during Mardi Gras, obviously. I read about one scam that's kind of strange, so be aware of this one. It's this thing where people will come up to you telling you that they can guess where you got your shoes. And if you engage them in any sort of way, it turns into this bet and then they say on your feet, they claim they're right and they expect to be paid for the bet. Don't even acknowledge these idiots, just walk on by. If you live there long enough, you'll understand the areas and the people to stay away from. That's just one of the weird things that go on in New Orleans. Number eight, it's haunted. New Orleans is really old and has a lot of history. Those two things combined means it's haunted. Just assume any establishment that's older than, say, 10 or 20 years, it's haunted. Even if it isn't, it's haunted. And the locals will back that up. They'll tell you things like, they say it's not haunted, but it's haunted. Basically, if you believe in hauntings and you have a problem with it, maybe the Big Easy isn't for you. Try Shreveport. Number seven, bugs. Okay, so it's in the south, which means New Orleans has far too many insects. The bugs in New Orleans are bad. The cockroaches, or as locals call them, palmetto bugs, are massive. And please, before you comment, stop typing. If you haven't heard them called palmetto bugs before, it just means one of two things. You haven't spent much time in the south, or you have memory issues. They also have a big termite problem and an Asian tiger mosquito problem, which is almost as scary as it sounds. Number six, car insurance. If you move to the Big Easy, purchasing car insurance with your New Orleans address will hit your wallet pretty hard. This is because Louisiana has the third highest car insurance rates in the country. Rates compared to other cities this size are crazy. Or states. Probably has something to do with all those potholes and hauntings, I think. Number five, road work. New Orleans roads are in extremely poor condition, kind of like how I explained with the potholes before. 
Because of this, during the summer months, there's constant road construction. But here's the thing. Nothing ever seems to get done. Everyone says they work on things, but nothing ever moves forward. They have far too many people leaning on shovels, as the old saying goes. Residents claim it's not unusual to see one guy working while four other dudes just stare at him. Just wasting taxpayer dollars when they could actually be fixing the road. That's what's actually started some groups, some organizations, to actually get them to start doing a better job with the potholes and the roads in general. Pretty sad. I read some of the stories and seen some of the pictures. It's kind of a funny thing, but it kind of sucks at the same time, especially when you know your tax dollars are going to roads that are supposed to be being fixed and never do. Number four, spicy food. New Orleans is all about their spicy Cajun food. So much so that there's well over 50 restaurants within the city that have the word Cajun cuisine on their menu. So if spicy isn't your thing, you're out of luck. I myself love real Cajun food. This is one of the main reasons I go to New Orleans and visit there. But I also understand some people don't. Here's why it made the list. Your friends and your coworkers will eventually invite you to go out to dinner at a Cajun place. You will try and tough it out. But if you don't do spicy food, you will fail. I mean, nobody wants to see someone sweat from their eyebrows over dinner, you know? It's going to be rough because a lot of the food in New Orleans is spicy, especially at the better restaurants. You don't want to end up eating at McDonald's the whole time you're living in New Orleans. Number three, heat and humidity. If you don't come from someplace that is hot and humid, then New Orleans summers are going to be a horrible experience for you. Temperatures will get about 100 degrees and barely cooling down at night because of the humidity. This place just stays miserable throughout the summer. There's no getting around it. Air conditioning sometimes doesn't work. Summers in New Orleans make you dream of getting things like frostbite and hypothermia. For some reason, everyone smells like bacon, too. I don't know what that is. I noticed that. It says weird smell of bacon coming off of everyone when I was in New Orleans last time. It was weird. Number two, below sea level. New Orleans is below sea level. This is a bad thing. From an engineering standpoint, this was a horrible place to build a city. The city is surrounded for the most part by a levee system, and it does its job. It's a system that's had some minor issues over the years, but like I said, it's done what it's supposed to do. That was until Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The federal flood protection system failed, resulting in the worst civil engineering disaster in American history. It was bad. You, I encourage you guys all to look that up. If you're too young to remember it, look it up. It was, it was serious. Another issue with being below sea level is no basements. Basements are a necessity for a lot of people, whether it's for protection from natural disasters to square footage. Basements are very useful. However, when you live in New Orleans, you'll have to miss out on your dream of having that basement because with the weather and the flood system, it can turn into an indoor swimming pool in no time. You don't want that. And number one, violent crimes. Besides natural disasters, you have human disasters in New Orleans. New Orleans is a very dangerous city. A good portion of the residents apparently don't know how to be nice to each other. The crime rate is about 76% higher than the national average. Assaults, domestic violence, murder, and robbery are always high in the Big Easy. Like I said on number 10 of this list, after a while you'll know who and where to stay away from in New Orleans. Always remember, there's only about 4% of the U.S. cities that are more dangerous than the Big Easy. That's not a good stat. This place is really dangerous, especially if you don't know about the city. Be careful if you move there. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to New Orleans. The reality is New Orleans is a great city with great people, great history, great food. All that good stuff is great. It just has a downside too, just like every other place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget the links below. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.